Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a new video and new content. Today, we're kicking off the first episode of the review series I mentioned earlier. In this episode, we'll be reviewing the account of a follower who contacted me on Discord. We'll go through his achievements, provide some improvement ideas, and at the end of the video, he'll receive a small support gift for his participation. So, make sure to watch until the end to find out what he wins. And if you also want to participate, you just have to contact me on Discord via this ID and send some specific screenshots of your account. You will find what is needed exactly in the description of this video. Also, write me your in-game name, server, and platform. And let's dive in together. Here's a quick review of the follower's profile. His in-game name is Honor and Glory, and he plays on the Egypt 1 server. He is currently at level 950 and has 16 million might points. I think this is pretty impressive, especially since he mentioned that he's a free-to-play player. Let's take a look at his main castle. As a free-to-play player, there are several positive points worth highlighting. Firstly, he has excellent space management in his castle, filling small gaps with Barrowman decorations, which is both useful and recommended. His districts are upgraded, which explains why there are no extra buildings outside. This has helped him free up more space and gain extra public order. Additionally, his decorations are impressive, I guess all of them are above 4000 public order, he also has a Discord giveaway deco indicating his participation in Discord competitions, which I really appreciate. He is also active during the patronage event as well the Outer Realms as I can see his upgraded relic conservatories and mead buildings. Moreover, he has started the Keep Level 8 research. But, there are some areas for improvement. I guess with 368,000 troops, it's not a large number for a 16 million might points player, and it's not enough to cover the offensive troops from attacks in Courtyard. He should improve mead and food production to handle more troops, by building the missing mead buildings, as the mead distillery which can reduce mead consumption by 40%, the barrel workshop which increase mead production by 60% and the honey gardens to enhance honey production. There's also no need for houses, as he can free up their space to put more decorations, which would be more beneficial. Additionally, the blue patronage decorations require a lot of resources. It would be better to get only the red ones as a free-to-play player to better spend seats and tokens on resources research and upgrading buildings. Generally, his commander is pretty good. He has successfully obtained the combat strength bonus when attacking and the combat strength bonus when attacking flanks, along with the relic strength bonus. His relic hero provides melee and range bonuses as well as strength in the courtyard when attacking castle lords, which is great. Additionally, he has focused on both attacking and attacking castle lords basic bonuses. However, the moat bonus is very weak. It's better to have a good wall and moat bonus than a good gate bonus because battles on the walls typically take place on the flanks, not the front. He should also maximize the attacking and attacking castle lords bonus. He can obtain better equipment from the outer realms or wheel of affluence. Also, his late army detection and army travel speed are not that good and should be improved. Moving to the Castellan, generally, it's pretty good. He has a good courtyard capacity and alliance support bonus, as well as good earlier attack warning. He has succeeded in getting the strength when defending the main castle bonus, and his relic hero has a pretty good recruitment bonus. However, he could add the combat strength for defense units bonus. Additionally, his unit limit on the castle wall bonus and moat protection are weak and I can see that he needs to maximize the bonuses for defending and defending against castle lords. Moving to the Hall of Legends attack setup. It seems perfect and very similar to mine. But, I think the reduce army travel cost bonus is somewhat useless at this level because there are many ways to gain a lot of gold. Losing some pieces when moving your troops is not a significant problem. Let's take a look at the generals. I can clearly see that he is active during events and has unlocked advanced difficulties. This is evident when comparing his Horatio level to his Toriel level, which are almost similar. Upgrading them to these levels is not easy, so it's impressive to see his progress. Moving to defense setup, I guess with more than 4000 units on the wall, he can defend with 94% efficiency using a 50% melee and 50% ranged units, then 3% on both other flank and the front. I also recommend using the Thunder Crash Bomb and the Trebuchet for optimal defense. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like this type of content, let me know in the comments. I'm also open to hearing your thoughts or any suggestions. By the way, I'm Punisher from the future, and I forgot to tell you what our follower will be winning 25,000 rubies as a gift for his participation. So, you too, don't miss this chance. See you soon.